What is up enthusiasts? It is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we are talking about a very popular topic on this channel, the one and only Cedar Point. This is episode 2 of my Ask the Fan series where I ask the fans on my YouTube channel a question and I make a poll and see what the results are in upcoming videos. A few days ago I came out with a poll that asked, is Cedar Point the best park in the world? And I allowed replies, which I'm going to show today. And of course, I allowed a poll. And the results were really close, and some of the replies were pretty shocking. To give a little bit of background, Cedar Point is an absolutely massive park in Sandusky, Ohio, up north by Lake Erie. It's on a massive peninsula and hosts the biggest collection of amusement rides on Earth and one of the biggest collections of coasters. These coasters range from record-breaking machines such as Gatekeeper and Top Thrill Dragster to some of the most elite coasters on Earth like Maverick, Millennium Force, and Steel Vengeance, down to some family and kitty coasters you could find scattered throughout the park. It has three kitty areas, a mile-long beach, two water parks, and many hotels. On the surface, this park really has something for everyone, which is why a lot of people consider it the best park in the world. But there are a lot of other parks that people would consider the best in the world, such as Europa Park, Dollywood, Silver Dollar City, and many of the Disney parks. This is because of other factors such as theming and food. But despite Cedar Point lacking in a few of those categories, many people think that this is still the best park in the world, and rightfully so. There are many great roller coasters here, and if you're a big roller coaster fan, I would definitely assume that this is one of your favorite, if not your favorite park. So I wanted to see what the fans thought about this and to see what their favorite park is that stands up with Cedar Point and if Cedar Point is their favorite park in the world. So I conducted a poll on my YouTube channel and the question was, is Cedar Point the best park in the world? I put a yes and a no option and I allowed replies. So let's look at the results. Now, I put this poll on my YouTube channel a few days ago, and I wanted to give it a little bit of time to see how much it differentiates during different days. A few days ago, it was 75% no to 25% yes, and then yesterday it was actually 50-50. But as I'm making this today, the final results are 526 votes overall. So, what are the percentage ratios? Well, the final results came in as 51% yes, to 49% no, which is really close. In fact, for a poll over 500 votes, that's insane. Keep in mind, when I checked doing this yesterday, it was a 50-50%. It was insane, but this is still extremely close. I'm honestly shocked that it came out like this. I know Cedar Point does get a lot of hype for being the best park in the world, but at the same time, I thought there would be a lot more people that would disagree with that opinion. But oh well, the results are in and the poll says that Cedar Point is the best park in the world by 1%. I'm sure if you asked 50 people out of 100 if Cedar Point is the best park in the world, they would probably say yes and the other half would probably say no, even though Cedar Point slightly leans in favor. But let's get on to the replies. I got a grand total of 75 replies, which is absolutely insane. But six of them have stood out to me, and I'm going to show you those six right now. Two of them in favor for Cedar Point, two of them against Cedar Point, and two of them that have a unique opinion on the topic. The first two replies I want to talk about are the replies in favor for Cedar Point. These are the replies that believe that Cedar Point is the best park in the world and they give valid reasons why. There are many more replies that talk about Cedar Point being the best park in the world, but I decided to choose two and nitpick some of them because I like these two the best. The first reply I'm going to talk about is by Ryan Burrow. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but oh well, I'm not good at pronouncing. The comment says that no other park can say they have the kind of coaster lineup and setting as beautiful as Cedar Point. You could stay a week there and find new stuff to do without leaving the peninsula. It's why no matter what, it will always be my favorite park. Now, believe it or not, this is actually my favorite reply out of all of the ones I read. I read all of them and I do have to say, this is what I think brings up the best argument. I don't want to take sides, but at the same time, I really like this argument, mostly because of what I said earlier in the video. This resort has so much variety, and you truly can stay here for a week and probably not get bored. The next comment is by Boston Martinez, who says, Honestly, it's pretty obvious, but they have the world's records in everything, and they are always ahead of everyone with the first Hyper, Giga, and Strata. They have had countless record-breaking coasters, and their persistence to make in-house the best and only the best roller coasters makes this the best park, and nothing comes close. 
To say Cedar Point isn't the best park in the world would be something I could never understand, and I would definitely want to know why people think otherwise. Most of the other replies in support of Cedar Point are dealing with roller coasters. This highlights them all in my opinion, but most of them talk about elite roller coasters and nitpick certain coasters or talk about how they have the biggest variety. But now we're going to get into replies that are against the part that Cedar Point is the best park in the world. They still love the park, but they have a few things to talk about the park. The first reply I want to talk about is by Pickle Plays, which is probably my new favorite channel name. The reply says, no, because it lacks in theming, rides other than coasters, and it is sort of hard to get to. Now, I definitely agree with Pickle Plays on this. While Cedar Point has an insane coaster collection, it definitely seems like that is their main focus. When you look at some of the other categories, such as theming or flat rides, they don't really specify in those. But if you're there for roller coasters, Cedar Point's the park for you, even though it's not the most well-rounded park. And while no park is truly perfectly well-rounded, there are definitely some parks that round categories better than Cedar Point does. The other reply I wanna talk about, talking about the same topic, is by Coasterzilla. He says that the park is amazing when it comes to thrills, but a kid with an A plus in one class, but a B a minus or a C plus in the rest, is not smarter than a kid with constant A's. Now these two replies do definitely cover a similar topic. If you want the best of every category, Cedar Point is not the right park for you. If you want to go to a park that excels in every category, maybe a park like Europa Park, Silver Dollar City, or Dollywood would be the best choices for you. The final two replies I want to talk about in the video have to deal with really good stands, but at the same time they take similar categories instead of talking about the park overall. So let's look at them. Even though they don't take a side, I love these opinions. The first reply is from Coaster Countdowns who says, they certainly have the best coaster collection and some really good thrilling flats, so it's got to be up there. They're definitely missing a lot in this comment, but at the same time, they are talking about what they like in an amusement park, which is what I like. If you like coaster collection, Cedar Point is going to be absolute heaven for you. But if you're more of a theming person, Cedar Point isn't going to be the best place on earth. Another reply I like is by August Castelli. They say, I think that depends on what you like. Cedar Point is the best for roller coasters, but no other things like flat rides, dark rides, or theming which is basically what the other comments have said all along. The point of this video is that all of the replies definitely have something in common. They talk about Cedar Point having one of the best, if not the best coaster collections on earth, but not them excelling in anything else. When you go to Cedar Point, you are gonna ride roller coasters, and that really is the main focus of this park. If you look at roller coasters alone, I would say that Cedar Point is the best park in the world. But at the same time, if you look at overall roundups, maybe Cedar Point isn't the best park in the world. As someone who is a huge fan of Cedar Point and definitely considers it the best park that I've been to, I tried not to take sides in the video and I wanted it to be as unbiased and fair as possible. And I think I did that. But let me know in the comments below what you think about Cedar Point, what questions I could do in future episodes, and what you think about Cedar Point in general. This is Cedar Flags and I will see you all later.